The three friends were sitting reading about flying in space when Skeets reminded the little green man, you promised you would take me for a trip in your spaceship one day. But it's all in a solid up, it's all in a few. Of course, why not today? The little green man moved over to the window. His magic rays soon streaked out down the back garden to where his invisible spaceship stood. And soon the little craft appeared and the three friends wasted no time in going aboard. Where are we going, Greeny? Skeets asked as he busied about making ready for the journey. He said, which meant, well, I thought we'd take a trip to the White Planet and see how they're getting on with the jam tarts. Jam tarts? exclaimed Skeets. Whatever are they doing with jam tarts? Explained the little green man. The White King, who is the ruler of the White Planet, plants jam tarts and jam trees grow. This can only happen on the white planet. But as everyone who lives there needs to eat jam to keep well, it's very important to them. Wow, said Skeets. That must be a very strange place. Swallow, swallow up. Fasten your seat belts, said the little green man. We're off. And the little green man's spaceship began to rise. Over the rooftops it sped, and it was soon hurtling off towards the white planet. Skeets thought the journey was smooth and very comfortable and was very surprised when the little green man said they were landing. As they opened their door, they were greeted with great kindness by the white people. Not surprisingly, they all looked white, very, very white. Skeets noticed that everyone here could see the little green man and Zoom Zoom. The white king himself welcomed the visitors and insisted that they stay as his guests at the palace. After a meal, the little green man and Skeets talked for a long time with the White King. He told them that the white people were not feeling too well at the moment because they were very short of jam. We should have planted lots of jam tarts long ago, he said, but someone has stolen them, every single one, and we can't get any more for a long time yet. said the little green man. That's very serious. Have you no idea who's stolen them? No, none at all, answered the king. People don't go around stealing from each other here, so we are very puzzled. Skeets had been thinking hard while listening to the white king speak, and he now hit on an idea. We brought a few jam tarts with us for a snack, he said. I know there'll not be enough to make up for the missing ones, but they may help you to catch the thief. Skeets went on to explain his plan. The king should announce that a new supply of fresh jam tarts has arrived and is being stored in the palace kitchen. More than likely, the thief will try to steal the new tarts as well and they can catch him in the act. The king and the little green man thought the idea marvellous. The king announced the news and soon everyone on the white planet knew about the new supply of jam tarts. Skeets, the little green man and Zoom Zoom were to be responsible for guarding them. It'll be easy for you, Greeny, grinned Skeets. And for Zoom Zoom too. All you have to do is to disappear and the thief will never be able to see you. Swallow, swallow up, too, said the little green man. That is not so here. On the white planet, we have no magic powers. You are the one with magic powers here. Whatever do you mean? Skeets asked. Swallow, swallow up, said the little green man. Try making yourself disappear. Skeet stood up straight and said, I wish to disappear. 
And to his astonishment, he did. The little green man and Zoom Zoom beamed. There you are. Now appear again. I wish to appear, they heard Skeet say. And at once, they could see him again. Wow, said Skeets. Said the little green man. So you see, you will be our best guard, Skeets, but we won't be far away if you should need us. They settled down to wait. After what seemed like ages, Skeets heard a noise and went into the next room. The White King had almost dropped asleep and jumped up with a start. He said that he'd heard nothing, but he would help Skeets look around. There are only robots around, said the king. Just mechanical men programmed to work while we sleep. They explored one or two other rooms, but as the king had said, there were only robots, no people. When Skeets returned to the kitchen, to his horror, the plate in the center of the table was empty, and he raised the alarm. Skeets heard a noise again, and they all dashed into the dining room to see if anyone was hiding there. There was no one there at all except for a single robot. Oh, it's uh, just old Bossy Boots, said the king. He's the Grand Master robot who controls all the other robots in the palace. The king went over and turned a switch. There, I've switched him off so that we can talk without him hearing. He's been very uppity lately, and so interfering. I sometimes think he'd like to be king in my place. The little green man eyed the robot severely, and was rather pleased the king had switched him off. They decided they should all have a good sleep and try to puzzle it out the next morning. Hardly had they left the dining room when the eyes of the Grand Master Robot moved. Then he smiled. Thank you. They still control me, do they? He said. I control the robots and the palace, and soon I will control all the people. The robot sat in the king's chair and put his feet on the table. And then another strange thing happened. A bowl of water moved all by itself to a position just in front of the Grand Master Robot's head. No! No, go away. Water will completely wreck my computer, he said. But the bowl of water paid no heed. It gently tipped itself so that the water streamed inside the robot and the result was like fireworks. The noise was terrific and every other robot in the palace was set in motion. The king flung open the door and was quickly followed by the little green man and Zoom Zoom. The Grand Master robot was a total wreck, and the other robots were doing strange things. As the king viewed the wreckage of his robot, Skeets appeared. Ah, so it was you, Skeets. I thought it might be. What's this fellow been up to? Skeets told the king all that had happened. So the Grand Master robot was a traitor, he said. The king was astounded. He was even more astounded when he went into the kitchen and found the little green man and Zoom Zoom piling up huge amounts of jam tarts. The Grand Master made the other robots steal all the jam tarts and hide them. When Skeets wrecked his computer, everything reversed and the robots brought all the jam tarts back. The mystery is solved. The King threw a huge party for Skeets, the little green man and Zoom Zoom, and they had a wonderful time. When it was time to go, the king found it hard to say goodbye. Come back any time, he said, and thank you all. Skeets had a lot to talk about on the way home, and the journey seemed even shorter than their fast journey to the White Planet. They made a beautiful landing, and Skeets was amazed to find how different time had been on the White Planet. They had left at breakfast time, and at home, it was not yet time for lunch. The little green man hopped through the window, and Skeets and Zoom Zoom heard a loud clatter. They burst into laughter when they saw what had happened. 
Skeets's mum had left out some nice things to eat, and the little green man had landed right in the middle of it all. He looked quite cross at the thought of what he'd landed on. A plate of jam tarts. He turned. He said, well, really? Thank <laughs> you.